My connection to India, you know, of course I'm half Indian. My father is from uh, Gujarat in India. He uh, immigrated to the United States after he went to medical school in India. Um, and he met my mom, who's of Slovenian descent in Ohio. Of course, I have uh, relatives and first cousins who live in India and tons of friends in India. So, you know, when we're, when we're looking for astronauts, and I'm sure it's the same on the Indian astronaut selection, you know, we, we need people who can operate in a uh, austere environment, in a maybe confined environment, as some folks uh, might put it, is inside a spacecraft. This is going to mean so much to the country of India to get Indian astronauts on an Indian rocket, an Indian spacecraft flown into space. The Indian astronauts will probably be doing very similar things that we did. So uh, one of those things is, of course, learn about the spacecraft and the rocket, learn about what their interaction is between the crew members and the mission control who will be working with them. The Indian astronauts will also probably be um, understanding, trying to learn how to, what it's like to live in austere environments. The two most dangerous parts of space travel are obviously launch and entry. Um, I think at one point in time the thought goes to your family and your friends and uh, you think to yourself, wow, you know, like I might never see these people again and you need to prepare yourself mentally and physically for, for that um, and then you need to move on, you know, sh shut that door and, and work professionally and make sure you're ready to go and, and work as hard as you can to make sure all those people, those hundreds, thousands of people who have put this rocket and this spacecraft together are confident and, uh, and know that you, you'll be, do the best that you can while you're up there. In the space business, um, we have had catastrophes that have really made everyone sit back and think about the right way to do space travel. It is intense and it's dangerous, um, but the engineers are the people that we rely on who come up with the way to make a spacecraft that's safe to come to re-enter. Um, the mission controls that we work with are there watching our back, making sure all the systems are ready to go before we even start this process. The lead up to a, a human space flight uh, is a, a test flight without humans and that's a, a really, really good idea. And the Indian Space Program is doing one uh, for their uh, spacecraft as well to make sure that everything from launch um, to getting into orbit insertion to circularizing around the planet, making sure the spacecraft can hold up in vacuum, and then the opposite coming back and entry back into Earth. This is a huge, hugely important test to, to really have confidence that the people, um, when we put the people inside the spacecraft, they're going to get to space safely and then they're going to come back home to their families. I am actually super excited for the Indian astronauts to get up into space and look out the window and just really realize what they, they're they part of. There's so much training and work leading up to it, but when you get there and you can look at that planet, our planet from that perspective, uh, it, I think it really puts everything into perspective and you, you, you recognize that you know we're, we're here for a bigger purpose because this is our one, our only one planet, our only one home.